It's not the same type of problem over and over. You guys are going to have to use your thinking skills, your inductive reasoning to determine, hey, which property am I going to want to use? Because like I said, over here, look over here. This one's difficult. This one says e raised to the x. So if you're going to use that same logical thinking, I have to put e, you'd have to, you know, I'd have to represent negative 2 as e raised to some number. Well, that can't work because e is, you know, a... Um, is an irrational number. However, I can use my other one-to-one -one property. And my other, well, actually, there's two different ways to do this. One way, it's, positive two. it's a positive two? Yeah. Okay. First way I can do this is I can go back to last section. Remember when we first learned logarithmic, or logs? We learned how to go from log form to exponential form, right? That's how I explained what a logarithm was. Logarithm is just really an exponent. It's just a way to represent an exponent. So one way, I automatically see this. I say, why don't I just write this as a log? So I'm going to have ln. I already know it's base e, because you remember your bases are all the same. Um, ln of 2 equals x. OK? So that's one way to solve it. The other way you could solve it is you could say, well, um, if I have e to the x equals 2, it is possible for me to take the logarithm, the natural logarithm, of both sides. Right? Remember, just like a, an equation, if I you can add a one. Remember, like a regular equation, you have um, two plus x equals four. Now it's just I hate using that six. You guys subtract on both sides, right? You're allowed whatever you do. You just have to make sure you do it on both sides. So you can take the log of both sides, right? Now, you'd say, why the heck would you ever want to do that, right? Yeah, I understand why you're taking the negative 2. That's easy. You need to solve for x. Here, why would I take the logarithm of both sides? Well, the reason why I took the natural logarithm of both sides is because, remember my inverse properties? Now, I'm left with ln of e, which I know ln of e, right? This is a little base e. e raised to what number gives you e? 1, right? And whenever you have... Uh, an F, your base and your um, logarithm are raised to the same number, that's just going to cancel out and it's just going to leave you with x. That's your inverse property that I did previously. So therefore, x equals ln of 2. So, like I was telling you, there's two different ways to do it. Whichever way kind of really makes sense to you. Um, you do need to understand this method because not always, you know, you're going to have more difficult problems that understand this method is going to be po powerful of taking the log of both sides, the natural log of both sides. Okay, that was number 19. And you guys want 21?